In this video, I will show you how to add and configure Google Forms in WordPress website. Follow all the steps very carefully to add Google Forms in your site. First of all, go to your Google Forms and make sure to sign into your account. Now, you can create a new form by clicking on blank form. All you have to need, open the form that you want to add to your WordPress website. Now make sure to customize the form and here go to settings and click on responses and here you'll find this limit to one response option. So make sure to disable this option for the form and then click on send and here select embed and here you will find the form HTML code. All you have to need copy this code and go back to your WordPress admin dashboard. Now edit the post or page where you want to add your Google Forms. Now all you have to need add a new block and search here custom HTML. Select the custom HTML block. Add here the form embed code that you just copied and here click on preview and you see your form successfully added with a scroll bar. In order to remove this scroll bar, select HTML. And here we can see the form height. So we have to increase this form height to remove the scroll bar. Let's add here uh, this uh, value. And now I'm just clicking on save and Let's view this post. Here, as you can see, I've successfully added my Google Forms in my WordPress website. Now, I'm going to fill up in this form with some random informations. And I'm just clicking on Submit. And here we can see I've successfully submitted this form. Thanks for submitting your contact info. And now I'll show you how to see all of your form responses. To do that, go back to your Google Forms and open the specific forms. From your forms, go to a response tab. And here you'll find all response just like so. And to see all response in Google Sheets, just click on link to Sheets. And here, you can create a new sheets or you can select existing spreadsheet. I'm selecting create a new spreadsheet and clicking on create. And here we can see a new Google spreadsheet created. And uh, in this uh, spreadsheet, I'll find all of my Google Forms responses in this sheet. And now I'll show you how to uh, how to check all of your Google Forms responses from your Gmail ID. To do that, we have to configure our Gmail ID here. So go to settings and here you have to click on, go to your Google Forms and open your forms and click on this add-ons icon. Before that, click on this three dot and here just click on get add-ons and you directly jump into extension store. Here in the search apps box type here, gate notification search for email notification and all you have to need add this form notify email notification extension select your google account continue and make sure this uh, make sure to uh, select the same account in which account you've created your google form here just click on allow and Click on done, close this, and now from your from page, uh, click on this uh, icon, extension icon, and here click on form notify email notification on Google Forms. And here, here you have to select setup processors email notification. And now we have to create here a new rule or processor. So click on this plus icon. 
and here give the processor name I'm typing here form notification and from name give your uh, from name and to email address enter here your email address in which email address you want to get all of your form responses and show advanced fields email subject you can go ahead and change your email subject and now here you can customize email body message and send email to submitter you can enable this option and all you have to need click on save and that's it you have successfully configured form notification for your email and now again i'm going back to my post again let's fill up this form with random text and let's submit this form once done i'm going to opening my gmail and here you can see i received a new mail google form contact information has a new response and now from here from my gmail i can easily uh, see all of my google form responses just like so from here you can also reply any message and this is how we can do it thanks for watching